Join an online learning community for creators with over 17,000 classes. Be one of the first 500 people to click the link in the description to get a two month premium membership for free. Jordan's messages. First messages of 2019. Josh, when did we start this show? Um, June 2006. Fifth, four, 13. 13 years, wow. Messages. And you guys are sitting here thinking, wow, Jordan, to you know, bring in the occasion, why the heck are you wearing sweatpants, okay? I never wear sweatpants on this show. Look, it's 2019. For the world, it's getting crazier and crazier by the year. The messages are getting crazier and crazier by the year. This is the hardest job on planet Earth, okay? I, I, I hate to say it, Josh, because people think it's just a cushy job. It's not, okay? I need to be comfortable. I have to wear my, 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 my sweatpants. Every message is now, Josh. Every single one. Sorry, Heavy. My, my dog Heavy is here. He, we're watching him, okay? My parents are, you know, there. So we're watching, okay? <laughs> Let's get to the messages. Hey, Jordan and Josh. So I have a few internet friends, and we all have a group chat together, and we all have a ton of fun and are great friends. Problem is, I'm not allowed to show them my face, tell them my age, or where I'm from, that sort of thing, because of, well, protective parental restrictions, but they do know vague info. Like my age range. <laughs> I'm between 14 <laughs> and 15. I say that. <laughs> Somewhere in that range. Normally they don't seem to mind, and they say they understand, but the fact that I can't show them what I look like has been brought up in conversations a lot lately. And I think a couple of them are actually concerned and a little creeped out. I do have one friend in the group who I have been able to reveal my face and age and such to. And I thought that maybe since he trusts me that, that they would. But I think they have become jealous that I've told him stuff that I can't tell them and I'm not sure what to do. How should I deal with this? Should I just keep telling them what I have been or maybe try to get my parents to the rules a little to keep... Dude, something bit my stomach today. I, I just, uh -oh. I, I, I had to put that tea tree oil, oil on it, man. Tea tree and lavender, that did the trick. My name is in the range of Jish <laughs> and Josh. My, yeah, my name. <laughs> but I can't tell you. <laughs> did you, 100% that's been going on, 100%. <laughs> I think that these internet friends have too much time on their hands, okay? Like, it's just weird. Like, they're so invested in this that it's keeping them up at night practically. Why can't I see this girl's face? Why can't I know her age? Maybe they're the creepy ones. They're, they think that you're creepy and that there's something wrong with you. Why do they, like, it's just, Look, I get, I, I get that it's it's one of these things where it's like, wow, there's a lot of weird stuff going on in the world, and this girl can't show me her face. Maybe she lives in a basement somewhere, and somebody, in the, and somebody has her. Look, okay, <laughs> these people are not in the homeschool community, Josh. They don't understand. They don't get it. <laughs> Maybe the girl was like, look, I'm about to lose all these friends. You have to let me show the face, my face, to one of them. You're that's ex that's probably yes. that might have been what happened. She called in a favor. You might have called in a favor to your parents. Maybe brought up something wrong that they did one time to get it to go your way. I don't know. Um, I think that, look, you have to play by the rules. Your parents don't want you showing your face online. I had friends like this, okay? You know what? They're, they're older now. They're totally fine. They actually kind of liked that their parents didn't let them do that when they were... I, I think that maybe these friends of yours are creepy that they care so much about seeing the, about seeing your face, knowing your age, knowing your birthday, knowing your social security number. Get these people out of your life. All right, let's get to the next question. <laughs> Dear Jordan, I have had a very serious crush on this awesome dude for two years. Besides being cute, he is fun and compassionate. Really the kind of person I want to be around. I finally told him how I felt and he was super nice about it, but said he wasn't interested in dating right now because he is working on spiritual and academic growth. I understand his reasons and I am not too tossed up over it. The problem now is I still want to be good friends with him, but I'm afraid because I talked to him about this that if I keep hanging around, he will
people just think it is because I like him. I should mention we both go to co-op where friendliness is too often interpreted as flirtatiousness. I really like the idea of platonic friendships, but I also, but I always have trouble not coming across as a desperate single. Most girls around me just act mean to the guys they don't care about. How can I show this guy that I just want to be friends without seeming clingy? For, for that matter, how can girls act friendly to guys without it being taken as flirting? Hmm. That's a great question, really. <laughs> um, look, alright, don't kid yourself. You're, 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 you're worried that this, as you called him, an awesome dude. This awesome dude, you're trying to convince yourself that you're not wanting to be friends with him because you have a crush on him and you don't want it to come across that way. It's going to come across that way because that's the situation. You can't just switch that off in your brain and, 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 and hope that it's, well, maybe if I just, well, I like platonic friendships, so switch, switch. Oh look, now we're just friends and I don't- Look, it's gonna come across. If you- You know, you can tell when a guy likes you. If a girl likes you. I could always tell if a girl liked me. There's not- Even if they just wanted to be friends, it was just what it was, okay? And it's- you, Look, if the guy is mature, okay? And we hope to God that he is. If he is, it's not gonna bother him, okay? People like people. He's not gonna think that it's weird. He's just- It's just gonna be a thing. You guys talked about it. Okay, it's a great thing. Really glad that you actually brought it up, okay? You got the feelings out of the way. This guy knows, okay? If he's a- If he truly is an awesome dude, okay? If he truly is, it won't- It won't affect things too much, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Josh gave me the nod that that was a great point that I just made there. You know what? The other day, I had a vision. 24-7 messages. Never-ending answers to never-ending messages. Think about how much you would learn from such a service. Well, that would be impossible, unfortunately, but let me tell you about Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. And the premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are best for you and your New Year's goals. You may be looking for help with a new hobby or you might be looking for help on jump-starting a new career. Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving in 2019. They've got a really great class on video editing using Adobe Premiere Pro for beginners. Let me put it this way, this class is only three and a half hours, so technically you would know your way around a professional video editing program. Adobe, incredible in less than four hours, it's amazing. That's what I'm using right now to edit messages as you're watching this. My favorite thing about Skillshare is just how affordable it is. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month, amazing. So join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare. The first 500 of my subscribers who click the link down in the description below will get a free two month trial. If you're thinking about starting a new project in 2019, you need to check out Skillshare. Click the link down in the description below you will not regret it. Let's get to the messages. Hey Jordan and Josh, I'm in a weird situation. My ex-boyfriend who I broke up with two years ago, this guy should be out of her life. Okay, this question should not even exist. Well, wait, wait till you hear, it's not her fault. Ex-boyfriend has been mostly silent since the breakup, other than the stereotypical awkward small talk when running into each other at church when I'm home from college, but has recently been contacting me more. I almost wish it was regular creepy guy stuff, but here's the thing. He keeps calling me, not texting, calling at random times and trying to recruit me for the National Guard. I heard he swore in about a year ago, and being enthusiastic is great, but I'm a music education student, and I don't have any interest in that. He knows that, but this keeps happening regardless. I'm in a committed relationship with a guy at my school. I really don't know how to interpret my ex-boyfriend calling over and over, sometimes in the middle of the night, to recruit me for the National Guard. I want 0% of this. Is he hitting on me? Is this just him being excessively enthusiastic? Should I just block him? Hello. <laughs> Ginger. Um. 
We've never answered a question about the National Guard. Look, this is, this is, this, once you start talking about, like, anything that has to do with the military, I have to be extremely sensitive, Josh, on how I critique this situation. I don't want to get these comments. You hate them. I don't hate them. Look, I'm gonna treat this young National Guard man the same way I would treat anybody on message. I'm gonna be brutally honest with him. There are some, there are some people in the military that are extremely enthusiastic about what they do. Which is great, okay? I'm enthusiastic about answering messages. We're all enthusiastic about our job, hopefully. Alright. <laughs> what, what, what I'm trying to say is this guy is mixing his enthusiasm with his hormones. <laughs> this guy is losing his mind. The National Guard, the best thing. He goes into any Walmart, any grocery store with his suit of arms on, if that's what they're called, his uniforms on. People are, thank you for your service. Thank you for the, your service. This guy has got such a boost of confidence. All of a sudden he's like, dude, I can call Ginger in the middle of the night and she will do the same thing that every mom and every dad does in Walmart. Thank you for your service. You know what? The guy from the National Guard, this is a problem. You cannot do this, okay? You can't. You gotta stop. It got to his head. It did, all right? And he loves you. It, you have to, but you know what? It, he's a great guy. I'm sure he's a great guy, but he's just, he's misunderstanding and he'll learn. All right, but he's calling you in the middle of the night. Look, you, you got to block him. You got to block him. I don't care if he goes to your church. I don't care who he is, where he, what he, what his job is. If I answered messages and I'm texting a girl every second of the day in the middle of the night, want to be on messages? Want to be on messages? Want to come over be on messages? You would tell me to stop. Stop it. Stop it. I don't care if you're in the National Guard. You gotta stop. God help him. Hi, Jordan. I lent some money to a friend. She's a single mom with three kids. She said she would pay me back at a specific time, but didn't. I thought it was no big deal at the time. She'll probably pay me when she has the money. However, she asked me for more money and did the same thing. The money isn't what's important to me. It's the thought that she's taking advantage of me. I'm not sure what I should do. Should I confront her about not being responsible for paying me back or should I just forget about it and the next time she asks for money, I tell her I won't give it to her. What would you do? Look, all right, honestly, I think there's a Bible verse about this, but I don't have it memorized, so I'm gonna wing it. If I'm totally off the Bible, then, okay. Sorry, God. Sorry. I think you need to, look, you gave this money away. When you, when you, when you lend money to people, act like it's gone. Okay, this is a risk that you are taking. Okay, I know that church, it, it, you know, they tell you, give, give your money and stuff. Well, you did. Okay, you did. And, and now it's gone and it's never coming back. Okay, you've learned a valuable lesson. Be nice to people, but at the same time, look, be like Rockefeller, whoever these guys were, okay? They would, their whole day, they had so much money, all day, they would sit around and think about where he should give his money to best be a resource. Look, this guy had billions and trillions of dollars, okay? And he's staying up at night, almost driving him crazy because he's trying to figure out where the best source to give his money was. Wow. I, th I think it was Rockefeller. It was one of those guys who had like a ton of money, okay? I get, look, I'm not a historian here or anything. I've heard that story. We can all learn a lesson from Alicia. Alicia. Is it Alicia or Alicia? I can't read. A-L-I-C-I-A. Alicia. Alicia. Probably. It's the easiest name to pronounce. 2019. <laughs> Never thought I'd make it. Look, when I was a young child, I would think about the 2020 period in time in history. 2019. It was like 1996, 97. Okay, I'm watching Barney. Wow. Who knows what I'll be doing? <laughs> Guess what I'm doing? I'm going to the National Guard. <laughs> this is where I'm going. I'm going there. <laughs> no, I'm doing messages, okay? I'm here, I'm doing messages all throughout 2019. God knows this world is getting so crazy, so divided. 
I can barely keep up with it. I can barely keep up with it. The only thing that keeps me sane in this insane world, honest, honestly, Josh, is messages. I feel like I am at least doing my part. You know, you're told by your parents, everybody has a part to play in this world. And you hope to make the world a better place, okay? What are you doing? What are you out there doing? I'm out, I'm out here every day doing messages, okay? Top that. Top it. Don't be messy. And leave good messages.